What's up YouTube, Mr. Lamessi here, and today we're going to be doing the Phoenix Strike Assassin build. So this is going to be running down the elemental tree of uh, working our way towards Phoenix Strike of the Martial Arts Assassin. This has been a uh, highly requested build, I would say, for a while, and so we're going to be diving into it. Should be some fun. There's really kind of two martial arts since you can do. You can go into that route of running the elementals, or you can run kind of the Tiger Strike um, kicks in style. So really kind of two different ways that you can play it, uh, but we will be going for the elemental style here. So let me, there we go, make sure the game captures. And let's get right in with Phoenix. Also, let me take off all of these little pieces here. So we have less text just kind of all over the screen. Perfect. There we go. What a beauty. So, first things to note, of course, with the assassin, just in general, the assassin is going to be a pretty strong character, just as a base. She gets three life per vitality point, which is very helpful. Um, and then she also has a lot of nice things like burst of speed for movement. You have fade if you if you need for some resistances. You have mind blast, cloak of shadows for just kind of some crowd control and stuff. So all of that is super helpful. And then again, we will be, and I'm actually gonna do this really fast. We will be diving into kind of the different skills that we can use here as well. So Dragon Talon is a kick, and then you kick more, the more points you put into this. Um, Dragon Claw is going to be with the dual claws. Dragon Tail is going to give us the knockback, and you get an explosion as well. So this is probably going to be my preferred eventual um, skill that I'm going to be going for, because you get an explosive kick, so you get the explosion, plus the charges that come with it. And then Dragon Flight has a little teleport um, with it as well, but of course you have to be able to see the monster to teleport to it. Phoenix Strike will be our main skill that we're going to eventually work towards. It is a level 30 skill. And you can see you have Meteor, Chain Lightning, and Chaos Ice Bolt. And then, of course, all of your synergies, um, Fist of Fire, Claws of Thunder, and Blades of Ice, will be running down this side here. So you get to kind of choose what you want to level up and go with along the way. And this is kind of a nice thing. And I really want you guys to think about and when you're playing through this guided playthrough note that you don't have to mirror exactly how I do this right you can say okay I'm liking Fist of Fire but I really want to get more Blades of Ice or whatever it is right like you can go more into different ways you can go into the Claws of Thunder more it can depend the gear whatever stuff um, feel free to mix and match as you're playing along and then of course we'll be getting into Phoenix Strike now something else to note is uh, these are used with claw weapons, but um, you do not need a claw for Phoenix Strike. So it's kind of an interesting, interesting thing. We'll probably just be using claws overall for a majority of this. But just something to note that these require claws, um, but Phoenix Strike does not. However, when you're building charges, I believe you can build two charges at a time with like a dual claw if you go bam, bam. Uh, but for Phoenix Strike, you only build a single charge at a time, if I'm not mistaken. So we'll see that um, you, you we'll see that as we play through. These will generate the duel at a time, and this one, these ones do not. They they're single at a time. Um, again, we'll get to that as we kind of play through the game. But right now, just kind of want to talk about the basic stuff to focus on. So let us go ahead and begin and start uh, running our way out here. You probably can keep your buckler on now because they changed how blocking works, but I like blocking, or I like getting rid of the buckler because I don't like blocking early on. The frames it takes can be annoying. So we'll just go outside and just get some basic leveling going on. And this is also where, again, if you are in single player, you can start to do stuff like adjust your player count very early if you would like. So, slash players, um, space, you know, whatever the number is. Again, let me do this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, whatever it is. And the more that you increase that, the higher 
the harder monsters are going to get, but the more experience that they'll also give, um, and also more item drops. You can also use this for popping chest, and this can be helpful in getting more items out of chest when you do that. We'll just go ahead and roll around on players one right now. Uh, we may up it a little bit later here and there, but just something to note. So your main goal out here is just getting gold and then getting a little bit of experience, usually just to get to that first level. Uh, just kind of a nice place to start. So anyways, uh, with that, we'll just get into the leveling and uh, I'll turn alerts back on. All Mo happy Mo birthday Mo. Have Mo a Mo wonderful Mo day Mo and Mo let Mo give you Mo great Mo presents Mo. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Mo, for Mo your Mo great Mo streams. Of course. Mo 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 for Mo you. Less than three Mo greetings, Mo from Mo Cologne Mo. Mo. Happy Very kind, birthday. thank you. Very kind. So for our first skill, uh, I'll probably just go into Claw Mastery, honestly, because that's going to help us out. We're, I'm really going to wait until level six. Obviously, we will need one point in Tiger Strike, so we'll put one point there. You could put your first point there if you wanted. But Claw Master is actually nice because it's going to go ahead and give us a nice boost, right? We're getting nice attack rating, uh, damage, and then some crit strike right now. And uh, so we like that stuff early on. Thank you, Crime Cyber. Thank you, Af. Appreciate you both. Finishing skills have no hit check if you have a charge at all. So they will automatically get a charge off now, which is nice. So I'm just going to sell, buy some mana, buy some stamina. That'll be good enough for Happy me. Happy birthday to one and only Mr. Llama SC, Mr. Llama IK. Thank you, Malachi. And now they've changed how it works. Happy birthday, 19 months. Thanks for the amazing streams, man. Thank really you. Really enjoy spending time with my little ones watching less than three. Aw, thanks, Milk Door. They've changed how it works. So now, instead of exploding all of the charges, uh, you just knock down one charge. So a nice way to do it is to use the top charge, and you don't lose all three of your charges anymore when you do that. So you go use it once, build a charge up, use it once, build a charge up. You can kind of like bounce back and forth between doing that stuff. And like I said, we'll probably be running our dual claws for a lot of this build. So we can also take a look um, at some of the claw rune words. And we'll go ahead and go Vitality as well. That was our first stats. Grab the ship diamond. So we will still want to focus on having decent attack rating. And the nice thing is a lot of these skills um, are going to be building attack rating. You can see this is plus percent attack rating. Claw Mastery obviously is plus attack rating. Right, all of that's really nice. We'll go ahead and get our first skill point into Tiger Strike. But that'll definitely be something for us to focus on as we play through the game, is just having a little bit more in AR to make sure we're getting our hits off. And I'll go ahead and go five more into Vitality as well. We'll probably end up putting some more in Strength and Dexterity later. Um, but for now, we'll just kind of stick with getting that extra life early on. It can be really helpful. Hi, Maxi. And we can do this. If we want to build up the charges. And you can see I'm not using all the charges right on a hit. So, that is nice. A J bird, thank you. One monster left, always. Not bad. Okay. So we'll go to town. 
Birthday of the same day. Cheers. And we'll just sell the basic stuff right here. And buy ourselves a tome. Nice and simple. That don't use the claws, so your kicking doesn't get. Yeah. But I wouldn't need it because it's automatically going to work, right? Okay, we'll go ahead and upgrade this. And again, this is just, I'm buying a simple belt. I'm just buying that, right? If you want to look for a two open socket armor, you can, because we'll want that a little later. Yeah, if I use it to release charges, exactly. So now we are right here at this level. And again, we can start either saving points or spending them on something like Claw Mastery, which I don't hate. Because Claw Mastery is boosting the attack rating, and that is kind of a decent piece um, for us right there, right? So if we're going to continue with Claws, we could do that. Or, like I say, we could save it um, and then try to start putting them into each of these Claws of Thunder, Fist of Fire, whatever stuff. So we just get more points lined up there. Uh, we also will want to actually put into Dragon Talon because we're going to want to move down to Dragon Tail, um, Dragon Claw, you know, whatever we would like to do. So you can look at that and we can even build up as uh, this. If we would like and just kind of turn ourselves into this... Uh, Nice kicker here. And you can already see, she got some uh, decent damage on her. She's doing decently well. Just starting out early. Again, more vitality right now. And... No stream elements showing right now. It should be showing, but I don't see anything... Wait, really, Warren? That seems busted as all get out. Shout out to your wife, Jeanette. Happy uh, seventh anniversary. Yeah, I think Stream Elements is showing. Okay, so here's also where we can start using some of the mana. And this is a build that will come online more as the uh, as everything kind of progresses on it. So that is something is you do have to be sometimes a little patient with some of these builds, right? Remember, this build is really supposed to start at level 30, but even then, not till level 6 that you're really going to start getting into, um, you know, damage that you actually kind of want to get rolling. And, of course, we should actually save a point as well because we do want to get Burst of Speed going. So there's there's actually a lot of skills um, that we do want to get going early on. So that is something for us to remember. Is This build is one where you can't have enough skill points until late. Just kind of plain and simple. Thanatos Drive gifted a Tier 1 sub to Warrior EOTEI. Thank you, Thanatos. Beautiful. Okay, so we have that extra skill point. Again, vitality. Perfect. 
Oh, I wish I had an explosive kick too. But yeah, there's really so many finishers, so many skill points that we want to be placing into everything right now. It's annoying that we can't do it all. Thanks, Grand. Appreciate that. So level six will be uh, our first nice point. Uh, fast loading screen update. Wait, isn't working anymore, you're saying? Join my army of the dead. Happy birthday, Llama. Here is some money for half off Applebee apps. Wow, it looks like it is working. Thank you, Thanatos, for the 500 biddies. Yeah, look at my attack rating. The, when I had the charges, it just keeps infinitely stacking. As long as I don't spend all of the charges. That bug didn't get fixed, I guess. So be careful with spear women. They can be a little nasty. Join my army of the dead. I just got a mal rune. Poison and Bone Skiller Charm and Four Slot Monarch in a single LK run. This sub pays for itself. Wow. Very nice, Clogs. Very nice. Yeah, I was just saying Spear Women bosses, Cursed bosses, Archers, things like Cold Enchanted Archers and stuff. Sometimes it's best to just know and say, you know what, I'm going to avoid this. That can sometimes be the best option for you, is just not to fight. So we haven't quite run into such a terrible boss that uh, we can't do anything. You know, we need to avoid it. But that spear group was getting a little bit, a little bit rough. We're almost level six, and you guys will see a big change. And once we get that AOE, it's going to help a ton, because then we'll be able to really start blasting instead of having to just single target. <laughs> okay, so we'll jump in there and we'll do Fist of Fire, can be our build up for now. And you can see we build up two charges at a time. And then kick it off. And it is lovely. So now our damage is really going to start to scale up. And this is also where we could actually uh, increase our player count if we wanted. Because you can see just how much damage is getting done. I mean, it is quite crazy nice how much damage you actually can lay out with it. Like I say, if you want to say, like, let's try players five, right? You do slash players five. I'll put vitality. And then we can go with fist of fire again. And this is nothing special yet on gear, right? This is very basic. So we do want to find the tower. Set a TP next to that. And then we'll come back to it. 
but we need to go find the waypoint. And we can also look here and say, do we want to put this point into Dragon Claw? Which could be nice. Right, then you get kind of the double piece. So we can shift over and say, all right, we're going to use Dragon Claw now for our finisher instead. And we'll take a look at how that goes. And that's beautiful because you get the double charge buildup and then the double uh, let go with it. And again, this is on players five right now and you can just see how easily we are crushing. And that's just because this is a very uh, solid build, <laughs> like at this point. You can get through normal quite well with it. Remember to get your burst of speed going. And again, it's one of those, I wish I had more points to put into burst of speed, you know? And maybe that's even, you don't do the tiger strike early so you can put those points into burst of, put that point into burst of speed and then later do it. It's a tough one. So we can find the uh, waypoint still. Maybe over to the left. Stormlash would be fun here. No. Another point for Fist of Fire, and there we go. Had to run all the way around. So let's come back and let's just start selling stuff. Why not? Why not? One to two fire damage. I wonder if that actually applies to the explosions. It probably does. And I'll put strangling gas potions on my offhand. Probably does apply there. And we'll go Vitality again, and we can put a couple gems away. Now, because I actually do have um, the Black March Waypoint really close to the tower, I'm actually going to go to the Stony Field and just do this quest. We'll go ahead and save Kane. Happy birthday. Thank you, Hestes. And some people might be saying, Mr. Lama, Mr. Lama, can't you do both Tiger Strike as well and build up those charges also? And yes, you can. Um, I don't know. I, I don't think it's really going to be crazy, like, needed, you know? like we can build up some tiger strike charges as well if we do want so if, if you really have a desire you can you know build up your charges for both to unleash both of them at the same time there but it's kind of a like a right now the explosion damage from this is what we're focusing on so we shouldn't really worry too much about doing both of them Put another point there. And we'll grab this short staff because that can be worth good gold. It's also your birthday. Happy birthday. All I want for my birthday is YouTube to like and subscribe. And we'll save Kane and head back home. A little bit of gold and fire is right there. I'm actually going to put five into dexterity now. It'll just help out a tiny bit. 
and then we'll go to the tower. Yeah, you can you can stack all of them so you can get the whole rainbow going around you, which is kind of fun. And later on, again, when we have all the elements, I think that actually ends up working out a lot better. So there's usually one boss group per tower level. Every now and then you can get a second one if you have this shape in the tower. There's a guaranteed boss there a majority of the time. So every now and then you'll get uh, a boss and that's another boss as well. But otherwise, like this level, unless we find another one of those shapes, we're not going to have a second boss. And something to, to focus on, I should say, is I, we do want to focus on killing minions, right? Which is another point there. And we'll go more vitality. We do want to focus on killing the bosses and their minions because those are going to be worth 500% experience. Right? So you can see it says he's a boss and then this says demon minion. Some of them just say demon. So this, the ones that say demon are not, you know, 500% experience, but the ones that are, are three levels above and 500% experience. Champions are two levels above and 300% experience. And uh, so that is worth just so much more experience. So really spending your time focusing on killing those bosses can be a great way to level up a lot faster. Thank you, Hardy and Hestus, for the happy birthday wishes and subs. Also, thank you to Twitch for making gifted subs 25% off for my birthday. If that's not the nicest thing Twitch could do, I don't know what is. Join my army of the dead. Happy birthday, Mr. Llama SC. Sorry to interrupt this tutorial. Thank you for the uh -huh. continuous Diablo love. Uh-huh. Oh, that wasn't that bad of an interruption. I appreciate it. Interrupt to compliment? I'll take it. So again, we can go and look for our boss down here if we would like. Also, a fun little fact, assassins don't need keys to open locked chests. And again, I'm on players five. Now, I'm on players five. Thank you, Kill Craze. And something to remember is when you are killing the Countess, you want to be on players one. That is actually the highest chance to get the most runes. It's a weird thing. This is the only character in the game that it exists like this. So make sure you drop down to players one before you kill her. Mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. So let's take a look. So, these are claw rune words. Things we can put in. We have chaos, which of course is om um, fury, jaw, goal. Now, venom, tal, dol, mal, but it's pretty trash. The only nice thing about venom really is that it has ignore target defense, which would be very helpful later on. So if we did get a mal rune, purely for the ignore target defense, we could really go with that. Otherwise, pretty garbage. Wind, if we somehow find a Sir rune. Malice is actually kind of nice because you get the chance of open wounds, uh, which can be fun. Minus to monster defense per hit. Um, 
all of this. But again, we're doing a lot of the damage from elemental, so it's not too crazy. But the minus defense would still be nice. Um, and then strength is going to be uh, giving us crushing blow, which I think would be nice to have just for later on. So I would definitely like to at least have one sort of strength um, later just to kind of help out with that. Now, we also have Pattern, which was new. So this is Tal Ort Thol. And what you can see is nice. We do get a little bonus to attack rating. And then we get all of this added elemental damage as well. 15 to all resistances. So uh, this is a decent option right there. And this is kind of the one that gets added. And then, of course, Cham um, and Plague. We're not really going to be able to get to that. So I am liking Pattern right here. Um, it also works for dual claw block. So if we run both claws, we could have that to, to help with that. Um, and then, like I say, just a little bit of added damage. And then a little bit of stats. And uh, all res 15. So pattern and strength are kind of the ones that I'm leaning towards at the moment. Um, but that's Talort Thol. So that would be a little bit later anyways that we would need that. So we can again... Do players, let's go players eight, because honestly, I'm feeling really good about it. Yeah, and we'll use this, um, but we're going to be moving into Phoenix Strike as we get further on, so... Oops, building up the wrong charges there. Need to repair gear. Sure. I mean, it's one of those... The gear that I have is... Trash there. So I don't I don't really care there. If you want to go and repair your gear, you totally can. Now, something I do like to find a lot of is I like to find a 2 open socket helm. I like to find a 2 open socket armor. This is because we do want to get stealth armor. Stealth armor is Tal and Ethrune. So that's going to be our main aim. Um... For right here. And again, just not enough skill points overall. Because at this point, something like Weapon Block would also be really nice, right? Give us a chance for blocking with our dual claws. And I actually think I will put a single point into Weapon Block. Um, and then I'll continue going into Fist of Fire right here. Well, Cloak of Shadows is a skill the Assassin actually has, so I don't know if we need to, you know, make a, a Nadir for it. When you say damage percent, you mean like physical damage, right? Oh, cold light fire. Damage percent doesn't. Happy birthday. Less than three. I guess better better question, Warren. Does the plus one to fifty lightning damage on pattern add to the charges at all? Or like the fire damage or anything? The explosions? Kind of like exploding arrow from Boazon. Fire does not apply to Fist of Fire. Darn. That's sad. Okay. Uh, we will go ahead and get 5 strengths. So we'll go up to 25 strength. And then we'll continue in vitality here. Sorry. And again, we'll go down to players one before we kill the Countess as we want her to drop on players one for us. Now, these tier runes are also nice because while we can't make a leaf since we're going to be uh, using claws here, it's actually good just to have mana per kill 
to help with a little bit of sustain. So that could be something we shove into a helm or something here. But hard to argue with Tal Ethral as our drops right there. It's a pretty uh, solid drop. So is it bad to just be farming in the tower a few more times? Not at all. It's actually super nice. Um, tower is a great place to get lots of bosses, lots of good runes, get some money, all of that stuff. But, for instance, like I said, I'm just going to put this tier rune in this helmet. Because tier rune is mana per kill, and that's actually going to help this character out a decent amount. But we've got our towel right there, so we're feeling good. Uh, that's actually better than that. We'll get rid of the strength. Get rid of that. And we'll go ahead and do the five to life one. And again, we can keep some of these and continue. Boo. Kratos with five gifted subs. Thank you so much. Mwah. Aw, thank you. Appreciate it. And again, I'm going to look for a two open socket armor. And this is also where you can literally just do this. To look for a two open socket armor. And we're looking for a non-blue. And you can do this for a helmet as well. We're looking for a non-blue two open socket. So if it says mechanics, we do not want it. The helmet would be fine if we're not making a rune word. But for the armor, we're going to make a rune word. So we do not want that. And you can run during load screens again, which is kind of bad. Hopefully they fix that. And there we go. So you can see two open sockets. It's gray. Perfect. And with that, we can make our stealth in later on. <laughs> so we have another skill point. Fist of Fire it is. And I'm going to go ahead and once again increase it. Players 8. Because I'm just feeling really strong right now with this character. <laughs> and that's one of the things. If you're like blowing mobs up with one hit, two hits on, on, you know, players eight or one hit on players one. Just do slash players, increase that player count, and you can just get more experience faster, right? Of course, go as safe as you want. And something to also note is if you're playing online, yes, you aren't going to have that option. Uh, but if other players join the game, it'll boost it up some. Or, again, you can just farm around and get the experience, you know, it's nothing that is like some crazy, oh, I can't do that in multiplayer. I have no chance. All it is is just the monsters are a little harder and you're getting more experience. So, thanks, Cobra. You know, so that's just an important thing to remember is like, it's nothing that's too insane here. Mwah. Sometime, Futima. If we did want to check some claws at Charcy, we could find a couple claws that maybe have a little something. But honestly, getting some stuff on claws right now isn't going to do a lot for us. We could add a little bit of damage, put a couple like gems or something. But I didn't get a D4 beta invite. Y'all lucky. And we'll go outer cloister right here. Kaios with five gifted subs as well. Mwah. Giant kisses. Thank you so much. I'll go ahead and grab that jewel. Late game martial arts sin. It's okay. 
You can do Ubers really fast with her. And this is an example where, okay, we have an immune to fire. If we want, we can build up, you know, some Tiger Strike charges and use those. You can also just skip this mob completely if you would like. Both are totally viable options, I would say. Another skill point, another Fist of Fire. And just trying to really kill all these minions here as they're just going to be worth a lot of damage. Also down in here, we've got some experience to be gained. So we'll knock those guys out as well. Perfect. And I mean, we're already level 15, which is, you know, crazy, right? For just Act 1. But we've been on high player counts for a lot of it. And we also have really good AoE, which is very helpful, right? This is, this is a nice, beautiful part about this character. Again, you know, a lot of people might think this is a terrible character. And she's going to have her difficulties later on. Don't get me wrong. She is not going to always be the strongest character like this, but she will uh, definitely be able to move through and kill a lot of stuff early on and get some decent experience. I'm gonna go ahead and go more dexterity and then more vitality. Ah, thanks Kaios, that's awesome, happy to hear. Oh yes, way over leveled for if this was like players one or something. But again, when you have higher player counts, you can increase it like that. And that's actually one of the, the beauties I feel like with the game and, and which is really nice, um, especially for characters like this, where you're going to need, you know, a chance to hit is staying over leveled when you need to be able to hit stuff is really helpful because level and attack rating are both part of the calculation. So if you have a really good attack rating, but your level is just much lower than the other mobs that you're trying to hit, you're still gonna have trouble hitting them. So the more or the longer that you can uh, just stay at a good level or over leveled, the better the experience that you're honestly gonna have with these characters. What do you mean by so lowest? Boots do affect kick damage, but not like the elemental piece, just kicking in general. Do you just restart the game when done? Yeah. Okay, we'll put another point in Fist of Fire. And again, just getting nice clumps like this is just super, super helpful. More vitality. So really the goal with our stats here was 25 strength and then mostly vitality. Um, but kind of throwing a couple points in dex here and there as there will be some, you know, uses for dex later on with claws. Plus we get a little bit of attack rating, which is nice. So we've got these champions. Hopefully we can kind of gather them together a little more. Right, very spread. Perfect. SMT! They're so much sweeter when they come off a Cowboys victory. With the 20 gifted subs. Hey, just be happy. Twitch gave you a nice discount. <laughs> Cowboys win. 
You only have Hom Watcher to blame. I can't believe you would bet against the Cowboys on my birthday. It's your own fault. I don't even feel bad. Okay, Fist of Fire. And Vitality. And again, you can see I'm already at 282 life. And I'm also already level 17. Which again, is crazy and you're normally not going to hit this in act one but if you just run around on players eight and i mean you can just do all sorts of stuff so because of that tal rune eth rune and we get a stealth and again the faster run walk and hit recovery a little bit of dexterity re regen mana magic damage reduced all very nice the cast rate also is helpful for later on when we have like a teleport staff and stuff. Wentz is going to die. Wentz, I, I'm not going to lie, I'm slightly scared for Wentz. 32 attack rating is really nice because again, right now, attack rating is helpful. And the max damage doesn't really matter too much, but we'll keep it. Huge OU fan, perfect. And we'll go ahead and keep some of these over here. And it's also not a bad idea to start stocking up your rejuve potions. Because you don't really need rejuves early on that much. Um, but when you get to like Nightmare and Hell and stuff, it can be rough. So. Anyways. Let us continue our roll. And you can just see how much that speed really is helping this character. Um, it's actually a really important part, I would say, about Diablo 2 that, you know, I don't want to say gets overlooked, but maybe my, you know, newer players could be slightly overlooked, is the importance of faster run walk, being able to just avoid mobs and attacks birthday, a little Alex. bit faster. Daniel with the two, 200 biddies, thank you. And again, thank you s &T, for the generous... 20 gifted subs. Got a bad map here. But all good. One important thing to note as well, and honestly, we probably could go in and do Players Aid and Dariel. I might do that just for the fun of it. Um, for you guys, but... Remember to drop the player count down uh, if you don't want to fight players 8 and Dario, right? Now, maybe you want like players 3 and Dario because that has, you know, a pretty good chance of no drop. Um, so she's going to have better, uh, you know, drops for you there without being absolutely ridiculous. But at the same time, she also has bad fire immunity. That's just a natural thing about Dario. She has minus 50% fire res. So... On a character that does fire damage, could be kind of fun. <laughs> so if we're at 1880 subs before Andario, we'll do her on player's eight. Again, I don't think it'd be too bad, but it could be kind of fun. This will be Phoenix Strike Assassin. And I mean, Daddy Bezos can get get you there. Any rune word for the Fire Claw? Not really anything. There's there's not really uh a lot of good early claws. We could go for Malice. That would be the only one. Not really going to have much effect on Fire Claw or anything. But does have some minus defense and stuff on the, on hit. Which can be nice. So if you get Ith LF and 3 open socket claw, you can make that. Thank you Lone Star. Thank you Hefa. Appreciate you both. 
pattern is probably what we'll end up grabbing later on, as it does look very nice just with the uh, 15 all res. So that's nice. And then strength as well with Amtir. Mano Drizzle, thank you very much. <laughs> what up, Dat Mods? Thanks, bro. How you doing? Good to see you. What's your what are you maining around right now? Are you lost Arkin still a ton or we swapped over to stuff? So now we actually have a little bit of an option. Doogie, thank you very much. As now we're level 18 and stuff has opened up a little bit further. So we can uh, we can just get to a, a little sweet spot here and, and show. So first off, Dragon Tail now opens up. Primo, primo, prime. So we don't get this charged up bonus right here, but we do get an explosive kick as well, uh, which does seem kind of fun. Now, the nice thing about Dragon Claw is that with Dragon Claw, you get the hit hit, so you actually get to drop two charges at once, um, which can be very nice. This will be the single hit, uh, and it'll be a kick, but we do get the uh, charged up bonus on said kick. So I, I actually probably think I will prefer Dragon um, Claw here. Dragon Tail is definitely more of a Tiger Strike thing for sure, I'm also thinking. But with the elementals, I'm actually kind of feeling Dragon Claw. I'm not going to lie. Plus the attack rating boost is really nice on Dragon Claw. A little bit better than uh, Dragon Tail. Now we also open up Claws of Thunder. Um, so this gives us lightning that we can start adding into our hits as well. Um, fade also becomes an option. Cloak of Shadows and Mind Blast, those will be things. But these will probably add in later on. We're not really in danger enough. Uh, so I'm actually going to continue with... Let's go into Claws of Thunder. And let's just have some fun with that. So now you can see we start getting two swirls. And you will have to build up the charges individually. So this is where you're going to start swapping between. Right. But when you release charges, you're going to be releasing everything. Again, we'll go Vitality. Um, so you can get a really big release, which is really nice. Right. So there you're getting the Nova and the Fire. I don't know. It's fun to me. No, oh, thank you. All right, we're three away, and we're coming up on Andariel here soon. Thank you, Ori. I'm good, dragon. Okay. Now... Building up the lightning charges at the moment isn't really going to be crazy because the Fist of Fire is really going to be adding a lot more for us. Um, if we take a look right here, you can see attack rate 125%, charge 1, 71 to 78, charge 2, radius 4 for the fire damage, and then charge 3, average fire damage 110 to 117, whereas this is only doing... A Nova, 1 to 30. Charge Bolt, 1 to 40. Lightning, 1 to 80. Um, so it's still, you know, not bad. But right now, because we have so many more points in Fist of Fire, we could really just keep going with Fist of Fire right here. Right. So just something to note. But it's fun to build up all your charges sometimes just for that extra explosion. We're here to have a good time. So. And you can also note the monsters that you're fighting and stuff. For instance, Tainteds have, you know, more lightning res. So they're going to be a little bit uh, more difficult, right, for that. Brujaha with five gifted subs. 
Yes, it does, Soul of Hatred. And we Whoa. will be fighting Players 8 Gear Loop with 10 gifted subs. Wow. Yeah, the building to the explosions is, is super fun. Mwah! Oh my goodness. Let's go down and go this way. Absolutely insane. Thank you both. And I actually feel okay on gold at the moment, so we'll just hold off on that. Players eight. And Dario coming up. Bad map, oh my gosh. A no town run? No. I think it's town. Truly a terrible map. Zombie action. And let's find ourselves a little Miss and Dariel up here. And again, are we over leveled? Yes. Is that a terrible thing on a character that needs chance to hit? No. <laughs> Should be players eight, right? Yep. Still players eight. And look at the damage. Insane. Absolutely insane. Perfect. And congratulations, just like that. Give yourselves a clap. You have just beaten Act One. Nice and easy. And we're almost level 19. Whoa. Again, we are way over leveled there. It's crazy. Darv with 10 gifted subs as well. Absolutely insane. These are actually kind of nice because they're cold and poison. I'm going to get rid of the poison. I don't want that big grand charm, but I'm going to keep the cold damage at the moment. Wow. Thank you so much. And I will keep this one because, again, a little more attack rating is just going to be better for us. We'll also upgrade to a belt. This is why we got 25 strength. And at this point, again, if you run into something and you're like, ooh, 10 more attack rating? Sure, I will take 10 more attack rating. You know, like, these are the sorts of things. Feel free to go and trade and shop around. 26 cold res is actually pretty nice there. 17 hit recovery if you want. Right, feel free to go and look for all of these things. As, uh, that can just be super, super helpful. And nice and juicy for you. I am 32 years young. I probably should have got the 26 cold res over 10 attack rating. Okay. And I do want more skill points. So I'm going to go look for more skill points.
And there's a wrist blade. Doesn't really change anything though. It's, you know, a couple more damage points. I'm also gonna go down to players one right here. Slain with five gifted subs. Oh my goodness. Every successful hit builds up a charge, correct. However, we swing twice with our claws on a single hit, so we are unloading and building up charges two at a time if both are connecting. My goodness. Don't make me do Durial Players 8, please, chat. I mean, it's just insane, the damage, man. Absolutely insane. Okay, we'll continue there. And again, we have a couple more skill points. If we want to go more into Claws of Thunder right here to build this damage up, we totally can. If we want to continue with the Fist of Fire, we can. I'm going to say for normal, it makes more sense to just keep going up Fist of Fire, and then maybe we respec later to kind of balance it out more how we would like. Um, but... We can kind of determine that all later. Let's just get our fire damage really rocking though. Five light res, two to lightning. And again, we can put some things away in our stash, nice and easy. I'm gonna go back to players eight and continue out. I'm now level 32. Yeah, this is like the one time I don't wanna level really in life. I'd like to be level 9 again. But this is also where you can start making these choices of do you want to... I'm firing... I'm charging both lightning and fire right now. If you, if you want to get some extra experience, you can definitely set a TP for Stony Tomb or just go down into the Stony Tomb. Tons of experience down Whoa, in there. It would be really Dougie. nice. Dougie Fresh! Thank you very much. Man. Hero. Hey, Baguette. Thank you, Baguette, Dougie. Slain with those five. Darv and Gear Lube with the ten. Brew Jaha with the five. Y'all so sweet, man. And this is also where you can note again that each charge has a different thing. So it really benefits usually to get onto that third charge for like the fire because then you leave those fire remnants on the ground which actually do a lot of damage. So when I'm trying to do my fire damage, I'm usually trying to leave that on the ground to burn as well. And here's the other tomb, so we'll go ahead and ignore the previous one. It's just if we found the waypoint first, maybe we would have gone back and done that. And again, if you just want some more experience, go for it, you know? Nothing wrong still with overleveling. Grab the waypoint. I'm actually going to check if it exits over here, just to see. It looks like it does. Yep. All right. Everything we need on the high ground. We just want that P8 Durial. What do you think? 191950 P8 Durial. At 1940. I think it'll be no. still a little easier. No message with the conversion of their prime sub.
1920 and it's a deal? Too low. 1930. I'll make a deal at 1930. Choo choo. Again, we'll bump up Fist of Fire. How many subs for P8? All act normal bosses. Uh, at 2k. Goal today. We'll get through normal here. See if we want to maybe do Nightmare as well. See how it goes. Old man? I don't see no old man around here. I see a young, hot whippersnapper. Is this a jacket made out of Darcy? No. It's my llama jacket. Like the hardcore runs. A B day plans. <sighs> Nothing really. Do the stream. Stream and hang out with y'all. Maybe do some Moo Girl stuff later. Go get dinner and stuff. With 10 gifted subs. And what's funny is this is 10 attack rating. Yeah, we'll go for the 1 dex, 9 fire res. Ooh, 1 to mana per kill. Uh, I'm going to hold it in case we want to swap over to it. Just in case. Extra gold. We say no thanks. And we can line up things like this. Player 64, we'd have to uh, swap over to that old school patch. And we'll continue in Vitality. Okay, we've got Champion Beetles, which are great experience, so love this for us. Also great damage. <laughs> Thanks, Baguette. Thank you again, Team Ed. Happy birthday, brother. Can't wait for ladder. I know, soon. Thanks, Yanosoko. HB Day. Thank you. Looks good, Zagalis. Let's see if we can find a waypoint or something here. Just an exit? No? Alright. Beetle burst. It really is a beautiful kick explosion. Okay, we'll keep going Fist of Fire here. And I actually also slightly want to increase my burst of speed. Um, so that may be something that we start considering a little bit later on. And more vitality. 
Though I will start beefing up my strength probably here a little bit soon. Try and get my strength index to around like 40. Just for a little bit of uh, equipment later on. Check out the helm. 10 hit recovery, 4 energy is nice. But I prefer my mana per kill at the moment. Ah, fresh meat. Which class would you recommend to start off the new ladder? Standard with the Prime and Zhao Ping with the T3 sub. Thank you so much. Also, thank you to Ref. Uh, I mean, it really depends what you want to play and what your goals are, you know? I think that's such, like, an important piece. I'm actually going to keep this, though, and I'll give it to a mercenary. As an act to mercenary with blessed aim can actually be kind of nice. Get us a little bit more attack rating and stuff. Um, yeah, I mean, I think, you know, once Sunder Zones, the question is how long will it take to get yourself one of those charms? So until then, is it best to just continue in the same fashion as before start off with your you know hammered in start off with your foe in start off with your uh you know barbarian to war cry everybody start off with the javas on or a sorceress you know and then kind of shift over maybe okay so we're gonna look for our uh waypoint here Right, then kind of find your Sunder Charm afterwards, and then then you're good to go from there. I'm probably going to go Cold Source into Necromancer. That's where I think I'm going to start. Oh, that cold is terrible. I don't want to fight Duriel anymore. I take it back. It is going to be Phoenix Strike, Elemental, Martial Arts Sin. Thanks, Moth. Yeah, I'm thinking new necromancer is you carry around a poison fire and physical grand charm so then your uh explosions are just insane if you're running the poison necro we like rare rings Ah, you just run glass cannon. Yeah, death web will still be great. Okay, where's our waypoint? There it is. Perfect. Okay, so again, we can come up here and we can grab ourselves a Blessed Aim Mercenary. If you already did this, congratulations. You are ahead of me. And the most important thing for these mercenaries is honestly, and like we don't really need that many more potions is kind of what we're feeling, getting him just a weapon. Just just make sure he has some sort of weapon. That's going to be the most important thing for him. And what a beautiful ring. 99 attack rating plus two decks, which is a little more. Cold res, poison res, and and damage reduce. I'm actually going to overlay it on this one. And we'll drop the poison res because nobody cares too much about poison resist. It's okay, but uh, the other ones are much better. Probably Raider. 
You just found an SOJ. Very nice. Very, very nice. Yeah, I mean, this ring will be great for for a little bit here. Because, like I say, getting that attack rating boost as well just helps with all of our stuff. So now our chance to hit just continues to go up, and that's what we really want. Fetus McGee. What a name. Thank you so much for the T1 sub. We'll continue with Fist of Fire. And remember, this is a guided playthrough. If you're watching on YouTube, feel free to pause. I'm going to go ahead and go Strength here. Feel free to pause. Feel free to speed things up, depending wherever you're at. So that you can keep up with everything. We'll go ahead and give Asab this chain mail. And now Miss Asab has got himself a little uh, something something going, you know. Plus we get the Blessed Aim Aura, which is going to be giving us even more attack rating boost. And it's just hugely beneficial. So even if he's not hitting everything, that's okay. Another boss group here. Some chain gloves. Happy birthday, Llama. Enjoy your Bezos bucks. The half Don't freeze duration is nice place. and a little light res, but honestly, they're not like that much better than these at all. It's very similar. I'm going to go with these purely because I don't have half freeze duration yet. And being frozen for a long time is annoying. Thank you, Jake. This is our uh, build so far. That delicious attack rating there right now. The king can't drop his own set? No, it's bugged right now. Rare amulet. I actually do like killing cold worm there because... He has a chance to drop some okay things. Definitely not Lone Star. And again, another upgrade, a little attack rating, a little mana, and then some all res right there. Totally take it. Two six to life large charms. Uh, they're a little low. I'd rather have the space personally than an additional 12 life. Maybe on a sorceress or something, but on this character, I feel pretty good. And we'll go to the Lost City to finish out the basics here. Getting all the pieces. Martial artist, specifically going into Phoenix Strike. Happy B Day stream. Thank you, Racer. Appreciate it. It's been very fun getting to hang out with the best community on Twitch. With a little asterisk by that. How does Phoenix compare to traps? I mean, traps are better. <laughs> traps are one of the best early game start skills. But, I'm running around on Players 8 right now, having no problem whatsoever. 
So, is this a, you know, as bad as a, a barbarian trying to get through? No, this is still one of the better builds, I would say, for getting through uh, the game here. Plus, it doesn't have, you know, a lot of mana requirement and all this. It, it really does have a lot of uh, benefit, I think, for how a lot of people... Enjoy. Barb is one of the easiest playthroughs. I mean, also true. Sing Barb is great. But you're not really going around on players 8. You know. But you are correct. Sing Barb actually is very solid. Okay, money, more rejuves for us to store for later. Keep one if we want. And make our staff. Every character is easy with the guy to play through. It definitely helps, in my opinion. I think some of them can still be a little difficult, but... Okay. <laughs> Excuse me. Tanovsky with a thousand biddies. Wow. Is it your birthday? Yeah. Happy birthday, Lama. My mother's birthday as well. Aw. That's nice. Wish her happy birthday from me as well. There's something I'm looking forward to in D4. Nope. Just kidding. Yeah. Plenty. I mean, we'll see, though, you know? Just... We'll see how it goes. I'm hopeful. But who knows? I want the combat to be fun. I want the items to be good. I want the game to not be too easy. Probably my biggest concern. Honestly, I don't feel like I need a lot of mana potions at all. That single, like, tier rune is completely getting all of our mana back for us, so. Fourth way gamble. Where are the mods at? This is normal. Nightmare next. Who wants a little first way? Okay, never mind. Super chest. Let's try out the heavy gloves and see what we get. Yeah, we can't shop for the telly staff till act three, so. Just 
unfortunate. A little poison damage in one of those. Six to life. There we go. Thirteen to life. Again. Not bad, but slightly below. Okay. And we'll go like this. Mods are playing D2? Probably. For sure. I guess getting some claws with some nice plus skills would be good, you know. Since that is kind of going to be the main factor of this character. It's going to be uh, just getting that plus two skills, right? And attack speed, also helpful. The faster we can hit with more accuracy... And the more often we can get the charges off, the better. Ooh. Hurricane Druid. Nice. It's a fun one. It's Nexus. Okay, not a second way. birthday. Thank you, Hermes. Appreciate it. Nothing really great on it, but it is slightly more damage. Still same attack speed. All res 6, 1 to 3 cold. We'll do that since it's just a little smaller. And 9 to life again. We'll put as such. Alright, third way time. This is Marshall playthrough. Five more subs and players ate Daryl. I wasn't going to bring it up. Did I turn 30 now? I wish. 32. At this point, it's like, hey, where are all your kids at, Mr. Llama? You know? Help me. Birthday brother. Only the coolest people are born on September 27th. I'm actually the 26th. This is just our birthday stream the day after. But... I'd say 26, 27, pretty equal in the coolest people. Need to update my website to 32? Ah. Do we, though? <laughs> SMT. Let's not pretend that we did. I'll be 40 tomorrow at this rate, I know. Wow! And in a crazy turn of events, we got one of the two pieces that would be amazing for this build. One of the two. If we can find Death's Guard, the belt, we will be I mean, it would be unfair. Alright, let's take a look and see where our best odds are. Say player seven. I don't know if I have any MF. Let's put like 10. Let's go super uniques and normal. Death's Guard. The Cow King. 1 in 70 chance. 
On player seven. What about players one? Should be the same, right? Yeah. What about bosses here? One in eight ninety one on Andariel. Players three, one in six oh nine. So we could go kill uh, normal Andario there. Normal Blood Raven as well. Not done. Normal Cow King though might be a might be a sweet spot to go after because that would be huge. And again, finding like Death's gloves as well. You could go and try and find both these pieces, and the reason is because. If you have both of these pieces, you get, well, I don't want that. No, hold on. I want death's hand. 30% IAS if you have both items. And then 15 all res plus cannot be frozen. Just those two pieces is one of the greatest things that you'll get in this game and we would love something to help us with uh cannot be frozen later on we can make a rhyme later for using phoenix strikes since if we use dragon tail as our finisher but if we want to continue with dual claws that would be a really good place to do so so Okay, we've leveled up. We've hit 24, which means now we can get Blades of Ice as well. And I will go ahead and go five more strength here as well. Yes, Blades of Ice, third charge, does zero damage, but it has a freeze. So, what about gambling the sash? We could also try and gamble the sash. But that is a one in a thousand chance. Which is, you know, something to think about. How much gold do we actually have here? You know, I doubt we have enough gold for a thousand gambles of belts. But it is something that you can try, right? If you want a, a little gold dump right now, that can be a place to go try and just get a little gold dump. You only need one good gamble. It's true. Now, having gold for, you know, your teleport charges and stuff is also going to be useful. So you don't want to just put all of your gold into this. But, Jamble, excuse me. Hi, Evo. How you doing? Ooh, the poison damage hurts. Thanks, Scatter. Appreciate that. Have fun in beta. I didn't get a invite. Okay, super poison is so dumb.
This is this is super poison. It keeps hurting and it never wears off. You're just poisoned for an eternity. I'd love to just get either, I mean, again, it depends how we're gonna get our cannot be frozen, which will be very important later on. So whether we do that from a rhyme shield or we do that from double deaths, which would be ideal probably. Also looking at a strength for some crushing blow on some bosses later. So looking at a variety of stuff. Tough map. I wish. Okay, I'll put that in there. And let's go back. Now, we are five subs short, so it looks like we'll be doing P1. That's nice. Uh, we'll just sell these things. But something to remember here for Duriel is if you need more cold resist. Thank you, Terrible Nate. No. Doctor. Okay. <sighs> no. Doctor Bateman, friendly shambler. Okay, thank you. Something to remember though is cold res. No. If you stack up thawing potions, you actually get 50 cold res for 30 seconds per one that you drink. So we've got like eight minutes, nine, 10 minutes of, of uh, cold resist. 50 Whoa. cold res right now, oh my God. And our mercenary also can have just as much. Dr. Bateman, the friendly shambler and rag with the gifted subs. Perfect. So now it is Duriel time. We're gonna build up our charges. Be a full rainbow and go in on him. He's great. Oh, we've slowed down a lot. A sob, hang in there, buddy. And honestly, she's handling him pretty well. I'm proud of her. P8. Woof. Some blade talents, too. Wow. Melted. That went way better than I expected. Should do rest of normal too easy. The problem will definitely be like act four. So these boots aren't bad. 50 strengths a little much for not a lot from it. This doesn't really improve for us. And this is a little bit extra. And I do like that it has 36 to attack rating. And I guess this is also, uh, you know, um, what do you say? 50 strength, 50 dex. So again, we're gonna have to build up a little bit for a couple of things like that. So we'll hold on to it for now. 36 AR is gonna be better. And we like that. Plus, I believe Blade Talons are the best claw. 
We can take a look at all the claw weapon speeds. Did I attack you? They are the fastest. Perfect. Yeah. They're minus 30. So let's see if this has... Perfect. If we take a look here... We can see all the claw types. So the faster, the minus is faster, positive is slower. So you can see Katars are minus 10, wrist blade zero, hatchets are plus 10, uh, but blade talons are minus 20. Okay, so blade talons are minus 20 there. And then when you get to the exceptional version of runic talons, they go to minus 30. So they actually kind of vary around depending normal, exceptional, elite. It looks like greater talons are also minus 30, which is great. Greater claws, minus 20. Um, and then again, the blade talons are minus 20 there. So just good to note um, because we do want to hit the faster break points when we can. So let's uh, let's keep rolling out here, shall we? Level 24. Did we give ourselves the clap already? I don't remember. Give yourselves the clap if you haven't for beating Act 2. You did a great job. We're all proud of you. That wasn't so bad, was it? <laughs> Nineteen fifty for players eight Mephisto, sure. Since the Durial one was too easy. And again, if you want to kill more, if you want to kill less, you can always choose how you wish to do it. This character, especially in normal, has the ability to really kill a lot. Um, and then additionally, on top of that, man, look at our look at our attack rating: ninety four hundred ten thousand, fifteen thousand. 17,000. We'll just keep building it. Twenty-three thousand. Just go up to infinity. Still miss five percent of the time. <laughs> okay. And there's two open sockets on the cestus right there. And again, if we look, a Cestus is zero, so it's the same speed as the Katar. Um, and the wrist blade. Oh, actually, the Katar is slightly faster. Aw, thanks. Appreciate that. Thanks, Hannah. How are you doing? Okay, there's a wrist blade. And again, we get 10 AR on it. We get three to mana per kill. Actually huge. 
I'm going to put it over that for the speed. Love that for us. Now we're going to have no mana issues. And I can honestly probably change out my helmet as well. For the temporary time being. Thank you, I am. Just drop mana pots at this point. Yeah, we get five mana per kill. So. No real uh, mana issues at the moment. Thanks, Chasing. Unless this somehow continues north, which it probably doesn't. It looks like we're going to have to go through the Great Marsh. And level 25. We'll go Fist of Fire again here. As we really want to get that damage just super hot. And yep, that's not going to continue through. So we are going to have to do... Beautiful. Oh! Isn't investing into lightning better? I mean, the fire just is doing super well. Lightning is also good for that lightning damage and stuff, but right now I'm trying to focus on just kind of maining one, and the fire just kind of crushes through a lot of it, so. It makes me 32 years young. Wait, Hannah, are you here? I have a question about that pawn push. Aren't you wadded? Wasted? No. <laughs> nah, it's okay. I'll ask later. Thanks, Jason. Nope, not a Muslim. <laughs> Join my army. Hey Llama, what are some of the differences between the elemental damage? Like poison as tick over time, fire mm -hmm. does burn damage, right? Is there anything different between cold and light? Cold always will do a chill or a freeze, whatever there. And lightning is a very big range. Also, fire doesn't do burn damage unless you're talking about Llama RPG. Is that what you're talking about? Another ring. Not really anything good on it. When you blaze the ubers. That's just the fire damage dealing more damage than... Then they, uh, like, heal. <laughs> Tala. That's all anyone talks about is Lum RPG. I've heard good things about it. Lots of, uh, great reviews so far, I've heard. Through the grapevine. Hey, large shield. Storm wheel's fun. Thank you, dragon. Heard it just sold its billionth copy. I mean, I hear it's on its way to sell a billion copies. 
Did I get a D4 invite? No! So I'm just gonna play Llama RPG instead. Mm, not sure about that one, Chasing. There's another tier rune. Yeah, I think they're upset because I'm creator of Llama RPG and that's supposedly going to be the game that kills D4. So it's pretty big competition. Conflict of interest and stuff. You know how it gets. Now be very careful in Act 3 about the fire breathers. They do insane damage. Maybe Bogu. Maybe, maybe. <laughs> Getting MF to do Mephisto runs. Ah, oh, love it. A cake that lands on my face. I don't know about that. Okay, another point, another fist of fire. And we're definitely gonna wanna get that fire res rolling a little bit later here, but that's why we got that Rao rune as well from Normal Countess. Also, let's go ahead and boost our strength up to 48, as I do wanna start getting that close to maybe a 50-ish. And then we'll also need to get our dexterity up here soon. No invite for use? I'm sure it's in the mail. Got delayed, you know how it is. Blade Talons, there we go. Let's check those bad boys out. Again, not amazing, but faster attack, better attack speed on them, which we like, and a little bit of attack rating. So, just working towards it. Wanted to get in every time you tried, got so bored. I don't think this class is boring at all. I think there's way, like, this is one of the better classes in terms of fun you can have. sell some things 66 attack rating I'm gonna wear that over this for now 9 MF also isn't bad that one doesn't work for us 9 energy 15 fire res is nice I'm actually gonna hold that 6 to life on that okay we'll hold like this
Hold the jewel, hold that just in case. And another blade talon over there. Old cares the ones that transition. You'll just get a remove only tab. That's how you'll transition over. Okay. Now we'll just set a TP here so we can move forward really quick. Thank you. Let's get some fire. Ooh. D2, D3, P. It's going to be 2D top down. Um, fun. Trying to mix like Stardew Valley and Pokemon graphics kind of together. Let's find the waypoint. Are you gonna need the 4080? Thankfully, you will not need the 4080. It's turn-based and it's combat, yes. Join my army. Found a perfect egg bone snap last night and upped it for fun. Nice. Damage got pretty high, but I forgot about the strength going up 215 for the Ogre Maul. The big two-handers yeah. are so expensive. Yeah, they really are. Okay. Check these bad boys out. Another tower rune. Should be enough tower runes we can cube up to a row rune so we could actually run a dual row rune helm, which might not be bad. But yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm hoping, you know, Llama RPG requires very low processing power. Honestly, I'm kind of tired of how much processing power games nowadays do require. Feels like it doesn't need to. Yeah, Taleth everywhere. Okay, 16 mana, 1 to 3 light. Let me trash it. Okay, and let's go back and do this. It should be able to run on your calculator. Gary, are you listening? Can I just talk here to you? Definitely should be on your Steam Deck. Okay. Um, 
I would say build in a rarity function for each of the different base types, just in case we want to alter them. Um, yeah. But otherwise, I think the list of items is is set, in my opinion. Wait, I need to run this way. Burmaber Ith. Should, right? It's the good stuff. Okay, so now, once again, you guys are probably definitely noticing how much damage is getting done to us from fire. So here, we're just going to cube this over. Make Ral Ral right here. We can get new Tau runes later on for our pattern, so not a big deal. And here we can, once again, just come back. And since we are at a stop point, since we have that uh, waypoint there, we can go ahead and reset. And again, we just buy a two open socket helmet. We can store this over for now if we want that for later. But boom, nice and easy way. And we get 60 fire res, bringing us up to 65, putting us in a much better spot. Also, We'll get into dexterity and strength again right here. And if we want, we can look at, you know, whatever stuff, right? If we wanted to change anything out. I haven't found any boots I really want to use, so that's okay. So let us, uh, Continue forward, and Fist of Fire is now maxed out. So, that is nice. And again, just so many items, honestly, for this character that would do really well for it. Now, if you don't need all that Fire Reds, let's say you found some other Fire Reds elsewhere or something, then, you know, enjoy, right? The ones I sold were okay. I'd much rather have something with fast run walk and stuff though on it. So. What's up? Remember you can give potions to your mercenary. Using shift one, two, three, four, or just dragging and dropping on top. So. Just a friendly reminder. There's a lot of stuff down here for us, so. Check out the circlet really fast. 13 MF. Honestly, I'll give that to a sob. As this helm is 10 faster hit recovery, really, is all it gives him. And then we can also give this to him. As it does give him a little bit of lightning res, fire res, all of that stuff. Okay. Hisaris boots would be nice. Sanders boots would be nice. Yeah. I mean, even just some random 10, 20 fast run walks. Okay. 
And we'll do that. And actually, I wanted to put that in dexterity because I do want to get to 50-50, but that's okay. We'll go ahead and get our potion as well for some more life. Yeah, plague would be decent as well, but again, kind of a will we get plague thing. Perfect. Right now we're doing part normal of the uh, guided playthrough. Nice and easy for this character. I look like Princess Leia right now. <laughs> oh, you're not wrong though, actually. <laughs> actually not wrong and even kind of the room behind being so white and stuff makes it look like I'm in like one of the rooms on the ship gosh dang it that's princess llama to you Help me, Moo Girl Kenobi. You're my only hope. <laughs> Gosh dang it, Evo. <laughs> it looks so much like her. <laughs> With the buns. I can't right now with it. I, I can't stop looking, but I also hate looking over. Oh my lord. It's awful. Truly awful, Evo. You're the devil. <laughs> Prince Leia. I think the, this shows that Princess Leia would still be still be good looking with a beard. That's all I can say. I can dig it. A 1050 TI, generally a good enough card. Probably a little under what a lot of games will need, but that'll probably play Llama RPG, so, you know, the important stuff. Now, if you are not level roughly 24 by this point, you're gonna want to go and level up a little more. You could even be like 23 and a half. You can see we're almost 28 because we've been running at a high player's count. But if you haven't been running at a high player count, you might be around like 21, 22. If that's the case, you can just keep farming. Uh, Battle Maid Serena is a good spot in that temple. But really, anywhere Flare Jungle and around is going to be a, a fine place for you to farm. So just be looking for that stuff. Thanks, rabbits. Oh boy, players ate Travancle. Your mercenary will probably die at Travancle. Also, recommended to not go players eight.
Will this be Assassin C and C? What's C and C? Crowd control is all I know, but that doesn't really match with what you're asking C and C. I mean, once you get Sunder Charms, then other classes. Ooh, hello. Okay, we like that. Sanders is nice, 20 IS. Oh, two claws. Yes. We're running two claw right now. Phoenix Strike has the option to not be, but. Uh... No. Yeah, it's not about the lack of blocking that would be the issue. It's the uh, cannot be frozen piece that we, you know, Rhyme would provide us. One to min, six AR. So if we can get, you know, Death's Sash, we'll be golden. Happy or some other form. Mama. Thank you, Mr. Buddha. Now, this is fantastic. Sanders are great because you get 20 IAS and you get that 40 to life, which is really solid. Birthday partying face. Thanks, Kickbone. Turns of hey, perfect. All right. So yeah, getting the forty IS. Plus, you do get a little bit of green damage, which is nice. But really, uh, the IAS is the main thing there. And then 40 to life is really big. Tradery. We're doing a guided playthrough right now. Part normal of this one, at least. Now, normal Mephisto for a farm spot doesn't have a ton of stuff that you're really going to want to farm for. Again, I'm going to go Dexterity, trying to get to 50-50. But if you do wish to do so, you can. Also, at this point, again... We can kind of start to look and decide how we want to mix and match stuff, if we want to mix and match stuff, if we want to get ourselves prepped, ready for Phoenix Strike. Um, if we're still going to use dual claws with it. I mean, there's a lot of questions. So we still have our respec available. Uh, so with that, I'm just going to go another point in burst of speed. And I'm also going to put these gloves on, as I just want to be able to really hit faster. I think that's going to do a lot for us here. That Conviction Aura is really nasty.
The boot finishers will come from all but Dragon Claw. Taurin! What else? So many Taurins for us here. And even though we're three subs short, we'll go ahead. Eight hit recovery, that's not bad. And do players eight Mephisto for you guys. Now Mephisto is uh, gonna have some spicy damage on him. So you do need to be a little careful. Chinovsky with 10 gifted subs. Aw, very sweet. But the nice thing is we do have cold damage on our hits. And because we have good leveling. Mwah! Thank you so much, Chinovsky. That was so sweet. Easy peasy. That pike will also be really good for our mercenary, so we can snag that puppy. And then just look around for whatever little piece there. And how easy was that, chat? Give yourselves the clap. You have just completed Act 3 of Normal. You are smoking through it. And again, like I say, this is going to be for the mercenary. So we're going to bring him back and upgrade his weapon. That's a huge damage boost. Two to three times his damage. I can sell these puppies off. And uh, get a couple more there, and we're good with that. Repair this. And 11 to life on the large charm. That one I will consider. And we'll throw these things over here. We now can use this. Sure, we'll throw it over that for now until we can use these puppies. And good to go. and sell that all right so before we dive into act four we're actually going to go back to act three and we're going to do a little shopping so what we're looking for is a teleport charges staff now looking for this before level 24 is the best way to do it however we were just over leveled um if you are below level 24, you're only going to look at staves that are red, a.k.a. unusable. If you are level 24 or higher, you're going to have to look at every single staff. And we're looking for teleport charges, not plus to teleport. Okay. So this is plus to teleport. You can see it says sorceress only. That doesn't work for us, obviously. We're not a sorceress. So we're looking for charges on this here. There's enchant charges. Oh, nice, Brandon. And we're not turning shopping music on. We don't need to shop music. It's just gonna, we're gonna find it really quick here. And then we'll be done with it. So just nice and easy. If you're on YouTube, feel free to fast forward or feel free to shop along. Drognin will not sell them in the normal. Nightmare, yes.
telekinesis. Act three normal plus shopping. Have you ever wondered what it would be like for to watch Leia shop? Sometimes you find it immediately. Sometimes it takes 10 minutes. You know, you get kind of all around. Chrome Shack gifted a tier one sub to V1R0ZZ. Thanks, Chrome Shack. Or longer. Truth. On your birthday. Wish you all the best. Thanks for the content heart. Thank you, Rabbis, as well. Now, one note as well about it is uh, it can take, it can cost anywhere from like 16, 17,000 to way expensive amounts. So 62,000 is a pretty normal amount, I would say. Um, and you can see that's teleport charges. But sometimes they are like 300 grand and you just go, oh, that's too much and you just move on, right? And try again. Or you can dip in your shared or whatever if you want. So anyways. Uh, you have your teleport staff here now, which will just be, uh, very nice and helpful for if you get caught in bad areas, whatever it is. Now, this is also somewhere that you might start considering adjusting your player countdown. Act four can be quite difficult. And uh, the fire damage is going to go not as far. So, might be something to think about for sure. But, I mean, it's still not awful, right? We're still doing okay. But there's definitely kind of like better places to farm. So, I'm going to go players three for now. We'll see how that does. Kind of push forward a little more. Because again, you can always farm as long as you have level 25. You can always farm just like Eldritch in uh, Act 5, right? And our mercenaries standing dudes up as well, doing a good job. Yeah, we'll actually go for players one usual, because that'd be a long usual fight otherwise. So when we get towards the Plains of Despair, we'll swap over. OG boat guy, oh god. Is 
Does player's X give you plus to experience? Yes. Increases difficulty of stuff and you get more experience. Well, uh, right now we're looking at October 15th, roughly that weekend for Manverse stream for Emroy's birthday. I doubt he got crushed quickly. Okay, so we'll do players one out here. That's your birthday too? Nice. I'm not making him give me money for his birthday. He want, he requested it for his birthday. Here's October 26th. Perfect, it's a birthday bonanza for everybody. Bad on P1. Ooh, circlet. Ah. Uh, now, 1 to 56 lightning damage will apply to the regular hits, which is not bad at this point in the game. But it doesn't really have a lot else, and I'd much rather have all that fire resist. So, unfortunately, it doesn't really do a lot. But we can give it to our mercenary and give him some extra lightning damage. Probably the best way to do it. Hey, wait a second, Evo. Wow. <laughs> okay. Let's go ahead and find. Do people sell their socket quests on Battle.net? Yeah, I'm sure they do. I mean, you have to have a little trust, though, with it as well, right? It's like you're not going to give your item over to someone you don't trust though really so ooh there's a thal rune potential for pattern be a nice little boost for us later A guided playthrough. Can see what we get out of the uh, forge as well. Three open socket claws drop from normal cows. They should be able to. We'll definitely run around in the cows. Try and get that death sash. Crushing. Ooh, another pike. Yeah, let's go back and get the uh, Mephisto Soulstone. If you don't have it, you can just talk to Kane. He'll give it to you. Tear Rune. Not great.
It's okay though. Uh, 18 to 81, 10 IS though, with some poison damage. I actually like that a little better. Should be a little bit more damage overall. And we do get a flawless ruby and a flawless amethyst, which we can use for, uh, crafting around later. So. Wait, are cows the current terror zone? Do that. Well, dang it. We gotta do this. We gotta finish. Hurry. I saw the amethyst. It was just a plain amethyst. So I'm just gonna gem shrine to upgrade that flawless later. And that uh, adding in a single point of blades of ice is actually really nice because it does give you that little bit of safety if you ever need just to hit off. Some uh, freezing. Thank you. Rate class is easiest to hardest for clearing on hardcore. I mean, honestly, Singbar is probably one of the easiest for clearing hardcore. Trap Assassin's also pretty decent at it. Source is definitely on the harder side. Um, Amazon might be the hardest, in my opinion, for hardcore beating. Hammerton's in the middle. He's definitely strong and good, or just like Paladin. But I do think the positioning can be a little tricky for some people. Druid can be kind of tough because he can get a little weak sometimes. I mean, I think he's decent, but on a speed run, he can, or a slower run, he can be kind of hard. Faster run, sorry. Yeah, so I'm just going through the chaos on players one because going through here on players eight is not as fun. It's a lot more damage. And honestly, the experience in the Chaos Sanctuary really doesn't feel like it gives you enough for how hard it is. When will I put this on YouTube? This will go up tomorrow, I think. Yeah, but it always depends on how you're playing the build. You know, that's a big factor for sure. Asab, no! Poor guy. Okay, we'll go back and get him later. Maybe after we kill this boss group. Maybe before. Just so we can have a little bit of defense with us. We need to go back anyways. And we get plus two more skills. Which again, we kind of have some options. We can put one into Cobra Strike now to kind of get ready for Phoenix Strike. If we want to start using that at level 30. Um, right on the go there. And I'm going to go Burst of Speed again. Because I do think we'll still respec pretty soon after getting there. And we'll just do that. A 
Asav, get back! Nice. It's got some damage, man. Private Island, thank you very much. How you doing? Hope you had a nice stream. It's a speed run? No, it's a guided playthrough run. So we try and go through at a medium pace. Still, you know, fast enough, but. Curse hurt. Cool. Two HP, not even close, you guys. Right. It's a slow run for me, a fast run for the average person. So it balances out. Ah, mercenary. Oh my god. We don't really have, uh, but we can do this. So just do cold and lightning damage to kill. Those are nice. They are 70 strength, though, which is starting to get a little bit high. Mostly just watch out for his lightning attack and any anytime he lays down fire on you. Otherwise, he should be pretty good. And having a little bit of cold damage is always super helpful on any melee class. A demon hide sash is great. 21 to life, one to strength, which does drop one of those, unfortunately. We'll get a sob back. We'll go ahead and hold on to these boots for now. Um, I'm actually going to keep using the belt until one more level so we can use our blade talons, which are very nice. Getting all the extra attack rating there and just a faster. One overall is solid, and again, we'll just kind of put these things away for now. As such, but congratulations are in order for you have just beat Act 4. Give yourselves a clap. Nice and easy. Thank you, everybody. It's very sweet. Let Act 5 begin. We're level 29. We have that extra skill point still. And again, it could be a nice another point into burst of speed, potentially. I do think since we're still going to use claws, we'll just do that. So we'll just continue with burst of speed. One set of talons does have plus one to strength. So you're right, actually. We can switch over to the demon hide sash. We'll do that at that next waypoint. 
Now, let's go ahead and go back to players. Let's go to players five here and see how that's feeling. Rowan's okay, Justo. Looks all right to me. And again, if you are not level 25 at this point, go back to Act 3 and level up. Thank you, Priest. Thanks, Tito. Because you will not be able to get experience just the way the game is set up. Until you're level 25, you get punished for fighting monsters too high level. And Act 5, they really uh, start to bump up there. Now I'm also going to show you a, once you hit level 25, one of the best places. We did do the forge to farm, which is right up here, Eldritch. Nice, easy place to really get some good farm going. This is Shank. It's not this guy, but I mean, we do want to kill this guy as well. Amrune, let's go. So we actually can make a strength now if we wanted, but I don't really have a good base. I have that Cestus base, but I probably want a better base than that, if I'm going to be honest. Unless we just wanted to make it there temporarily. But this is my favorite place to just farm some quick levels. Because you can literally just go here, join back in. I'm going to go to players 8. 108 to attack rating is really nice. But we need uh, that fire res will just be too beneficial for us right now. Let's throw that over there. And again, we're just on players 8 here and we can just... Nice and easy. I mean, look at my experience bar. So, you can level up multiple times here. This isn't just a, you know, do this to get to 25, 6, 7, whatever. I mean, you want to be 25 to start. Do this to get to 30. I mean, you can take this to... Wherever you want to take this. That belt is eh. Not that great. We'll change out our current belts. Nope, because I need to have the strength there. So let's go ahead and add like this. Just to have a little bit more. And now we can trade belts out. Perfect. It's very comfy. And now... We're level 30, which means we can get Phoenix Strike rolling if we want to roll with that. Now, remember though, with Phoenix Strike, you're only going to be getting a single charge per, right? And you can see not really, at the moment, better than just our fire. And it's also because we we don't really have any points in those synergies. All of our points are in the uh, fire synergies. Right. So not nearly going to be as good right now as this. So we will just continue with Fist of Fire for now. But, of course, whenever we want, we can do a little respec. Which will be helpful. Thank you. What brand is this hoodie? 
Oh no, it's just a it's a llama hoodie. Got a little llama ears on it. We can also save the barbs. So. Not made of llamas. No llamas died for this hoodie. Oh my god. Okay, look for the next barbs. It's like no. So I might be back earlier on. That's okay. We can come back to it. And that gets us Ral or Tal, which are all really useful and will be helpful in making the brand later or the pattern excuse me okay now shaving a llama totally okay are we sticking with dual claw or shield I mean, I would like to stick with Dual Claw because I think it's really fun. Um, shield is probably, you know, going to be the good bet eventually if we go into Phoenix Strike full on. But. If we can find a source of cannot be frozen, then we'll be okay. Kind of my thoughts. Now, something we can also take a look at. Right here is again, you bring up this page and we can look at number of sockets. So we can see only claws, blade talons, and scissors katar will actually get three sockets from the uh, normals. And if you go to exceptionals, Kui Hobbs get them, and then these ones as well. And with elite, you get a little bit more, but still like War Fist, Battle Cestus are only on the twos. So still just good to note overall, um, you know, kind of which ones can get three open sockets is that's how we're gonna wanna make pattern overall. Spirit Shroud would be nice. I would accept that. I would accept a Hawk Mail, totally. And we are on players eight here still. So it does take a little bit longer here to, for us to get our kills in. But the experience is much higher. And again, this is also where I say if you really want something I'd recommend is just do Eldritch for a few more levels, right? You can farm up 34, 35, not too long there. 20, 30 minutes just kind of killing that. And you can be in a really great spot. No, we actually got our AC fixed, so that actually finally happened. Do the barbs get stronger in P8 as well? I don't know. Probably not. I mean, the lightning will get better if we're once again, you know, Placing our, 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 using our things better, right? So, Phoenix Strike actually plays a lot better with Cold and Lightning because you're going to generally be on that three charge, and so then you're going to shoot off your Cold and your Lightning damage from the three charge. So, 
So. Oh, I gotcha. So you're not actually really going to hit the meteor very often because you, you're building up those charges. We have another skill, and here we can again put another point into Phoenix Strike. Right there. The cold does damage, not from Blades of Ice, but Phoenix Strike cold does damage. But the third charge of cold doesn't do damage on Blades of Ice. Actually, that gave us this, which is the waypoint. We'll teleport over, grab it. Right, it's just Meteor is like, you know, not as good of a, a charge, I would say. So generally, the lightning and cold charges are the better charges. It just takes so long for Meteor to land. So we're just going to go up here to do Frozen River. Perfect. If Meteor was faster, it would definitely gain some value. So as you learn these maps, you can kind of learn how to get through them a little faster. I have a map pack in your mind video. Thank you, mister. That would be uh, helpful for that. Kind of teaches you a lot of what you need to know. Frozen River has a limited no number of static maps. That is correct. <laughs> not bad six max damage 31 ar is actually pretty solid now the max damage we don't care about too much however uh 31 ar is pretty nice so, we like that. No birthday cake? No birthday cake. Maybe my mom will bring some over. Hey, Toadette. We'll get our 10 all res. That's going to be very helpful on this character especially. I know, records. Another point in Phoenix Strike. And remember, every point in Phoenix Strike as well is boosting up the damage of Fist of Fire anyways. So it's a synergy as well that's helping. Anya should give us a claw as well. We can go grab that from her at some point.
<laughs> It'll be the greatest claw ever seen. <laughs> Just like it always is. Body weight, barbell, and reps is age. Birthday squats. Oh boy. I'm giving up pie for my birthday. It's like Lent. How's the playthrough going? Great! With the exception that it's terrorized cows right now! Be there in a sec. Shouldn't be too bad for killing these guys. Oh wait, you should definitely just do players one ancients though. <laughs> Otherwise, should be pretty, uh, easy. Another point in Phoenix Strike. More points Vitality. And I mean, we are, uh, looking golden here. Absolutely golden. <laughs> yeah, we ran very high player counts through a uh, majority of stuff. I'm going to go back to players five right now. Aw, oh, thank you. Oh, come on. That's... Sad. I might have actually seen that from the start. Now, getting yourself a waypoint here, I would definitely recommend it. One, because you can always farm here if you would like. Um, but additionally, just in case something happens, you don't want to have to go all the way back. So looking for the waypoint here is really nice. Now, there could also be some merit to potentially running Phoenix Strike with Dragon Tail, and then you just are buffing up like Blades of Ice. So you're always just going for that single shot of the cold damage, and then you get the explosion from the Dragon Tail. That could also have some possibility, but I do think the double uh, claw is really nice, actually. Sub alert should not be off. You, did you? You may have to refresh and share. I mean, I think it's doing fine. I don't think it needs a crazy buff. I don't know, Rai. I think people should check to see if they have a Twitch Prime shove and share it to see if alerts are working. Seems like a great way to test. 
Make Daddy Bezos pay for our testing? On my birthday? It's the perfect time. Dragos, thank you very much. Worked for them. Flaky. Big kisses. Mo. Mo. Chinovsky with ten more gifted subs. Wow. Wild. It's very comfy, but I have no clue where it came from. Like what store? An anonymous user gifted a tier one sub to Cosmic Donkey. Aw, thanks, Anonymous. Another point in Phoenix Strike. Five more to Vitality. Okay, build up Phoenix Strike charges there. Wrist Spike. It's worth it. Ah, thank you. 66, 66, 96 to attack rating is really nice right there. I do like it for that piece. It is a wrist spike though. We'd of course have to go look at the speed on it. It's probably not gonna be faster than what we are wanting. Thanks, Scat. Scat. Gifted sub. If you want to fight these guys a little bit further back, it can be really beneficial. Help you out. So you don't uh, get decrepified. Wave 1 and 2 are kind of hard to do it. Wave 3, 4, and 5, though, are easier to drag down and fight away from Bale. Uh, well, right now we've got Fist of Fire working with Phoenix Strike, but getting into Chain Lightning and Blades of Ice, I think, is going to be a better overall combination. To get that damage going, as the fire damage is kind of better in the early piece, I feel like. Definitely decent experience. A little bit tough on this wave though. So for these, you can always figure out what player's count you do want for the waves. Whatever's feeling kind of good for you. So over here, we'll go to players one for this final wave. I think it's just gonna be a tricky one. Thank Stormin. Hey, it's Becky, how you doing? Could have maybe done players three. I wouldn't have gone much higher than that, though. Oh. 
GZ with the ding, MR Llama. Take Yo soy money. fiesta! Oh my god. My stealth broke, so my weapons broke. <laughs> Everything broke. Okay. And we'll just keep going Vitality and Phoenix Strike. Thank you, Yosoi! Oops. Perfect. All right. Players three bail. That fire damage hits hard. Companion died. Phoenix strike attack rating is a little lower than we want right now. Needs more. See, we need more claw mastery as well. My gosh. So much. It's okay though, just the fire is crashing here. And just like that, give yourselves the clap, everybody. You have made it through normal and uh, dominated it, honestly. You did great. Well done. We're level 35. We're looking good. Here's our tree currently. Like I say, there may be some respecking in the future, somewhere down the line shifting out of this over to this stuff but right now the fist of fire is still working really well the phoenix strike is starting to boost up from all that it's going good i don't i don't know if we need to do anything crazy to it right now you know kind of see how it feels later as we go um we'll be jumping into cows i'm gonna do that in the next one because right now terror cows are happening online and i want to go play terror cows here is our current gear. Just some nice random things. Stealth, little demonite sash, nice little ring. And we never found any boots. So we'll get some boots later. I guess we have these, but they're 70 strength. And we can go get the Anya. See what she has for us. Absolute garbage. Perfect. So, that was part normal. I'll see you guys in part nightmare. Don't forget to like and subscribe, YouTube. Peace, everybody.